acreage math uh, estimates compared to actually sticking up an acreage position. So what you're seeing on the left side of your screen here, this is just generic area I found where the existing wells in white, you can see those laid out. The inventory sticks actually being placed out there are in yellow. And then the green kind of represents the acreage that would be taking into account if you're just doing acreage math to uh, determine inventory for this area or for this acreage position. And so you can see that, you know, this is about 13,000 acres roughly, or has been about 16 producing wells. I mean, I'm assuming that the historic spacing, go forward spacing is gonna be about the same around, you know, that five wells per section. Um, and then we run and we calculate out the inventory based on acreage math. We come up with about 50 locations. Now you can see some of those historic wells were drilled you know, kind of irregular there. There's some zigzags in there, you know, not quite sure why they, they drilled them that way, but that can really throw off some of that acreage math where you can see there's some green areas in, in there that, you know, we're giving credit for if those uh, inventory sticks with acreage math that in reality, we probably wouldn't be giving credit for if we're actually sticking those out. As you can see with the yellow sticks in there, where there's green color, but no yellow sticks. And so if we do the actual count of those yellow sticks, we can see we get 40 locations that we actually place it out, you know, really being uh, much more scrutinous about where we're sticking that and making sure that those distances from existing wells are being maintained. And so you can see, typically when you look at acreage math, what you see is it overestimates inventory for a particular position.